Hello everyone and welcome to Selling Nation Season 3, Week 4. I'm Commissioner Ash, this is Franchise the Owner. Today's <laughs> matchup is the Bandits, presented by Downtown Diner, against Heartbreak Kids, presented by Mojo Depot. Franchise, thoughts on today's matchup? Very interesting matchup here. We have two teams that started off the season very weak, and now we're on an upward trajectory. Yeah. Heartbreak Kids last week got their first W against the Reapers. Granted, shorthanded, but a win is a win. And the Bandits back-to-back -back wins against the Wolfpack. And then last week against La Familia, both once again shorthanded, missing their key players. But a win is a win. Yeah. And momentum is momentum. Absolutely. And both teams are coming in like a hot freight train right now. Yeah, the key will be the Heartbreak Kids three points. You know, three-point shot. If they get that to fall, Dean and... Dev can hit some shots. Uh, Eric, of course. So they got some shooters. Let's see if they can make it work. And we have uh, Parker. We have Parker here. Vice Commissioner Parker. What's up, Parker. Vice Commissioner. And the game is ready to roll. Bandits get the ball. Chief up top. Over to Braylon. Today's officials are Antonio, Sauce, and Nick. Now Braylon. it's going to be interesting because who can really, uh, and that's a turnover, but who can guard Braylon? I think that's the game that they're going to play, and it, it looks like to me they're coming out in the zone, which is a smart strategy. Force them to shoot. If you looked at the season stats yesterday that I posted, um, the shooting percentage for the Bandits was horrendous. Yeah. They cannot shoot a three to save their life. Uh, Braylon was the only one to hit a three outside of JC hitting one in three games. Yeah, it's been a lot of Braylon. Um, all so Braylon. It's, it's been all Braylon. I think he had, what, 80, 84 something, 84 points? It's yes, he's leading the league in points. Alfonso, great Alfonso, hustle. nice steal there. Goes down and gets it to fall. Good nice take. job, Alfonso. And that's what they're going to need. They're going to need offense generated from other people. And unfortunately, they're not a great offensive team, so it's going to come from their defense, yeah. which they are a good defensive team. And they got to keep up the pressure and not lose anybody. There's got Slim on Dean. And that's a matchup that, that the Bandits love because yeah. Slim can shut down Dean. He knows exactly what he likes to do. Braylon, big body, banging with... Yeah, got away with that. Got a foul okay. there. Foul on Ish. Braylon and Vin banging down low. Interesting matchup there. Yeah, and usually the superstars, you'd say, other than Joel on, on the Gators, aren't the down low guys. But Braylon's got the size. He's got to Yes, he's able there. to do it all, but we haven't seen him do it all yet. Yeah. So it's interesting to see him going against Vin, getting posted up on offense. Will that wear him down, though, on the offensive end if he's going to have to do that on the defensive end? Yeah, nice save by Slim over to Alfonso. Misses the three. Over to JC, over to Braylon. Braylon for three. Off what did I say? Short. They're not a three-point shooting team. Yeah. If you're the heartbreak kids, that's what you want. You want them to be settling for threes. You want them to just be taking these bad shots. Now, granted, not a bad shot, but for them it is. Yeah, they're better drive, facilitate, have Braylon Transition. Open, open Messy most, basketball. Yeah. That's what the Bandits want. Yes. That's what Bandits that's are. A great take. That was a nice drive. Over to Alfonso for three. Doesn't Off get the it to fall. He's yeah. been struggling from three. Yeah. Over to Ant. Ant had a really good warm up today. 20 minutes of threes. It was great. Over to I ben. think Ant's biggest issue this season has been he's not setting his feet and getting a good shot. Great hands by Slim. Yeah. Ant keeps rushing his shot. If he just sets his feet or keeps moving off ball like he normally does, he'll have success later on in the season. JC's open for three. Does take it. Bang! Big gets shot. Ball. And what did Wide we say? Open. Only other person that hit a three on the bandits was JC, and he comes out and he hits another three. Yeah, that was great. great They're going to need him to be the number two. Xavier's a great player, Chief, but he's more of a passer. He's a facilitator. Yeah. He's got a lot of assists. He's one of the highest-ranked assisters in the league, I believe, behind Nick and myself. Um, and that's granted to a lot of not finishes by the bandits. Yeah. If the bandits were finishing the passes that he was giving, his assist would be even higher. No, absolutely. Alfonso for three, doesn't get it to fall. Like you said earlier, it's not been falling. They want the travel. I don't, don't know if we have it. Vin got the ball. Interesting start to the game, very uh, slow. Very slow, yeah. Yeah, 5 0. Got one foul so far, I think. Just very, very Just boring. not a good pass. JC, good steal. Good effort by JC to start the game. Braylon for three. That's a good shot. Off the rim. That's a good shot, though. Yeah, he was wide open. Transition, fluid movement. And Braylon hasn't had much success on the three-point line either this season. Yeah, Absolutely but, dominant in the paint yeah. and, and off the dribble. And the That's three. a great shot. That's this a good look. Good. That's a good look, though. That's Set his shot. feet, actually settled down. That's what you're looking for if you're the heartbreak kids here. Yeah. They've got no offense going early. Braylon drives, gets the foul. 
and that's and, and that's what Braylon's gonna need to do. He's Attack got that all paint. day. Yeah, he does. He does. Braylon shooting two. I wonder if the heartbreak kids, they kind of have two ways to go about this game. Do you let Braylon be their only offense and give you 40 points? Or do you try to stop Braylon from scoring? And those are your two avenues about this when you have that one star on your team. He makes the first one. I would stop him. The, the best you could. But at a certain point, if the heartbreak kids can hit shots starting, I mean, any time now, they can let him score 40 because they can score 70 in the game yeah. if they're hitting their threes. Dean and Ant are both able to do 20 to 30 in any game if they're getting the shots to drop. Yeah. Right now there's no ball movement, a lot of stagnant. What is going on here by Ish? Terrible pass, but it got through somehow to Devin. Yeah, I don't know how that got through all those bodies, but it did. Chipped by two hands, but you know what? Ish got it in there. He's looking to find people, and I'll give him credit for that. He is normally a slasher, get to the basket, but he is looking to facilitate, get his players involved. And I think Devin has been a great addition to the starting lineup. Devin's been great, yeah, absolutely. One of my, you know, not thought about players, you know, you don't think when you see stars like Dom and, yeah. and even Vin in his seasons past, but Devin's been a lot of fun, really good on defense, good, good energy guy. Definitely a sleeper teammate pick. Of the year. Yeah, teammate of the year, potentially. Fair enough. Brought to you by the Congregation Entertainment. And Josue gets the early, the early call into the game for Ant. Yeah, Yo, he had Sway, him. yeah. Bandit Vinci basketball the there. Braylon takes the three. Doesn't get it to fall. I feel like he unnecessarily dribbled there. Slim saves the ball. Over to Braylon. Braylon to JC. Drive. Doesn't get Good it to take. fall. Great hustle Slim. by Slim. Man, that was a lot of option options. They can't finish. Oh, man, that was, that was tough. Ish drives, beats Good the double take, team. Ish. That was nice. That's a beautiful take. When Sweet he's finish finishing, today, brought to you by Ash's Big Shot. When he's finishing at the rim, that's when he's at his best. He yeah. likes to look for the foul calls a lot instead of finishing the shot. But when he's actually looking to finish, he's a very efficient player. <laughs> I think that's a sweet that finish. That was our sweet finish today, brought to you by Ashes Big Shop. Beautiful ball movement there. Slim and Braylon playing a great two-man game. Out and back in, and then the little whoop-de-woo. Great job by Slim. You got to love to see that. Slim Delirium, not an offensive player, definitely a defensive-minded guy. Yeah. Him and I were chatting last night after I posted the stats at about midnight. Misses that one. And he said he might have to be that guy for them. He might have to be their second option on offense because nobody is. Yeah. Um, so it's good to see him getting yeah. started early. That was great. That's Dev, a great nice take. drive. Nice drive. That's bro. a great take by Dev. 9 5. Now we got a game. We got a game. We woke up the last two minutes. Yeah. It's, it is the first game of the day. 10 a.m. a little early for some people. Yeah. JC for three. Off the rim short. There you go. Alfonso tried to get it. Osway's a big boy. Way yeah, down low. He is. D for three. Off the rim. Ish. Great take. Foul Good by Fonzo. Foul. foul on Fonzo. Ish getting to the hole. We got two dogs in the building today. Where's the other dog? Right there, Ruben. Parker's dog. <laughs> oh, wow. We got two dogs. We got one big one, one little dog. We got two dogs. <laughs> Do we have dogs on the court? That's the question. Um. There's a couple. There's not many in this game, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I would definitely say Vin's a dog. Yeah. Fonzo seems like a dog. Um, and Noah. Yeah, yeah, Noah. <laughs> Outside of that, not many, not many dogs. <laughs> Ish misses the first one. Eric now in the game for the Heartbreak Kids. There we go. Misses the second, gets his own rebound, or Vin gets the rebound. Over to Eric. Eric drives wow. off the rim. That definitely could have been a foul. Yeah. Alfonso drives, kicks it out to JC, over to Braylon. Braylon guarded by Dev, Braylon step back, three, it's bang, just, gets it to fall. He hit one, but he's taken with three, <laughs> three or four of those now. I don't find that a necessary shot. I think yeah. he's got to get going into the paint. Especially when you always can get the drive and Yeah, I, I get that there. it's probably more tiring to do so, but That's true. he can get to the basket every single time, and he really should. Alfonso guarding Ish. Great defensive game for Alfonso so far. Over to Wade. That's a bad shot. I don't Bang! Know. I don't care. I don't care I that he hit it. I it for you. It was a bad <laughs> shot. <laughs> it was a very bad shot. Hand in his face, but you know what? Good for him. Good for him. We got dogs in the building. Braylon over to JC. JC over to Alfonso. Alfonso for three. Off the mark Off again. The rim. 
Oh, and Ish can't Ish come up with it. get it, yeah. Over to Braylon, off of Braylon. There we go. We got a Jason Channel sight Jason now. Channel, he's a shooter. He's been playing very well. Shooting 50% from three, three for six on the season. Yep. He's been great. Jason Channel in the game. Error on the Don now in the building. What up, Donnie? How's it going? You ready? Devin off the mark there. Attempt. Prolific Dev. Prolific Dev, a really good nickname. Yeah. Braylon, maybe, maybe we'll get that drive. Over to Ziggy's Ziggy. in the game. Great Ziggy's pass. in the game. Mike Mitchell and wow. nice. Big and one. What shoulder injury? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was just for show. <laughs> now Mike Mitchell, another guy. He's been great on the boards, but he has been horrendous finishing. Yeah. 0 for 9 from 3. Um, but that's his game that there. This down, low, yes, down low, yes. Yes. When he's settling for threes, it's just not necessary. He's a strong guy. He's got great vertical, and he's he's just. That counts. Lane, lane violation on the heartbreak kids. Counts, Point right? does count there. Yeah. And then you get another one. 15-8. We got a timeout. First timeout, timeout, timeout of the game. We got 9.51 to go. Bandits lead 15 to 8. And now it's time for Parker. Parker Landis in the building. Vice Commissioner Parker. Live with Steve the Kid right now. We are We're back. It's the Lord's Day. And it's Selling Nation Day. It's Super Bowl Sunday, too. Holy shit. We got a lot of Sundays. Here are some refs. Um, wow. Okay. So a little recap of what's been going on today. 15-8. 15 15-8. 15, 15, 8. <laughs> 15 8, uh, The Brown Brown Bandits are up. Uh, they're playing well. They're moving the ball well. Uh, I think it's going to come down to red team's execution. I think they got to get Vin involved. If Vin's their number one guy... He's a great passer. He's a great scorer in the block. He's probably the biggest guy on the court at all times. So get the ball to Vin. That's me. Hey, guys. You're doing the good work. Appreciate it. Thanks. You're welcome. It's a you know, tech on you, but. You know. <laughs> okay. We appreciate the positive <laughs> I'm going to tech you. I'm going to tech you, bro. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm running into players. This is going to be a hazard at some point. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Ingersoll. <laughs> Brown Bandits versus the Pink Pink Heartbreak Kids. 15 they've been, they've been heartbroken a lot this year. They got a win last week. It was good. I think the biggest break was Dom's hand. Yeah, shout out the Big Blue Monster. Ridiculous. You don't fight the Big Blue Monster. You know, that's what hurt Mike Mitchell's shoulders. I think he got attacked by the Big Blue Monster. Well, well. isn't it the Big Blue Wall? Big the Big Blue, Blue wall, Monster? Big, Blue, over Big there. Blue Bench. The Big Blue Bench. The Big Blue Bench is. Uh, it's a little dicey in those third we, games. Yeah, we saw we saw Chili uh, Chili take a couple of the Wolfpack members last week and threw them right into the big blue bench. Nice Good drive take. By Eric doesn't get it to fall. And the bandits all around. Ball staying there. Wow. Okay. Ball's that way. Alright. Good call by Antonio to overturn that. That was the right call. Wade inbounding. You got one clear out. Yeah, yeah Vinny, Vinny is huge. Give him the ball. Mike Mitchell guarding Vin. It's a good matchup. Look at that. A lot that. of body there. A lot of body. Two ankle injuries, food poisoning last week, and yeah. he's still going at it. Good take by Sway, and he gets fouled by Ziggy Zay. That's a foul call. A little Ziggy contact Zay. There, a little bump and run, you know? Nine minutes left in the game here. 8.15 on the clock. It's been a... Interesting start so far. Yeah, just it, it it's not good TV. No, it's not no, good it's TV. Not. We need something to happen here. Might need a Chester interview to spice things up. Oh, we got dogs barking every single day. <laughs> Rui's Wade going crazy. Second. Josue at the free throw line, looking to at least hit one. <laughs> and it's up and no good. Mike Mitchell, that's what I'm saying. Grabbing the boards. Good effort, drive. And there's Ooh. a foul call. Ooh. Looked like he was a little arched, you know. Leaning tower of Pisa. I think the foul's on host way. I believe so. He's complaining, so. If Sounds not, he's a really right. good teammate. Sounds about right. <laughs> Mike Mitchell shooting two. Eight minutes to go. Will we break 50 combined in this game? Maybe not. 50 combined. <laughs> not in the first half. Definitely not, not in the first, first half. half. First one is up. 
And it's off the rim. No good. This and is what Mike, back in the game. This is what Mike needs. Mike needs to get to the free throw line early to get his shot warmed up so that hopefully he can then hit the shots that he is taking. Because he's going to take the shots. It's a matter of is he going to hit the shots. It's true. We have a little Mexico alert. A little Mexico alert. A little Mexico. Number 21 in the game. And he gets the second one there to fall. There you go, Mike Mitchell. Fluid, fluid stroke right there. And Ash in the game. Ash cam. There we go. We got Ash in the game. Never Ash. hesitates. Oh, she got wow. fouled by Kaylee. Yeah. Mike Mitchell drives. Good take. Good defense. TP in the game wow, as well. TP. Wow, a lot going <laughs> There's on. There's a lot there. going on. A lot, a lot of contact everywhere. A little Mexico, Mexico alert. alert. Oh, man. That would have been really cool. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> nice move by Eric. Drive. Good take. He got fouled. Yeah. yeah we got the foul he call. got hacked. Yeah, we got the foul call. Hack and Eric. Yeah. Another shoulder injury. There's a lot of injuries this year. <laughs> Nick was doing a little slam dunk competition with himself, and we're back to action. If they lowered the hoops, we would have a lot of fun slam dunking. Other than that, there's about three of us in the league that can dunk. That's true. And maybe a little bit more than that. There's a few. Maybe five or six. Obviously, I can. You know, I'm a big dunker. Well, yeah, for sure. Dunkaroos, <laughs> dunking Oreos into milk. Eric misses the first one. Free throws all season for every team have not been the most free of points in the game. No, they're no, you're, they're just throwing it around. Yep. See if they can get this rebound. And he gets it to fall. Nice Eric. job. 16-9. Wow. 25 points combined at least. There we go. CP over Little Mexico. Little Mexico. Mexico wanted to take a three. You know that. Little Mexico. Wow, great hustle. Triple That's team. A jump. Triple team jump ball. Bandit great ball. Great play by Ash. No, no, it's heartbreak kid ball. Bandit started with the ball. The arrow. The arrow. I was just looking at the arrow. Arrow is incorrect. Xavier got the ball to start. Ball's going this way. Braylon trying to cheat. Do not appreciate a cheater, but that is the bandits. He's just an arrow guy. No, he said Vin won the tip. It's oh, not who yeah, touches yeah. the ball. It's what team recovers Bang. the ball. Great shot by Eric. Eric last season for the Baby Blue Lions played absolutely phenomenal. And I don't know if it's the organization around him or if it's the shoulder injury. Probably the injury. He's just not the same player right I would, now. I would expect it to be the injury. He's looking better today, and that's Good a hands. turnover. Yep, Mike Mitchell got his hand on okay, that. There we go. Little Mexico. No, take it out, take it out. Ball in. Jason Channel. Eric Another one, Eric. Another one, Eric. He wants it. I knew he it. Takes it. I knew it. Off He's a guy that once oh, his no, confidence right. gets going, yeah, off, off, off of air. everything. Off air, yeah. Once his confidence gets going, he's going to take a lot of shots. <laughs> oh, man. Braylon with the ball, guarded yeah, by Ann. Yeah, has got to get down, that's it. And oh, wow. man, doesn't get it to fall. Too explosive for his own good. Yeah, a little too much sauce. I think what he needs to do is start dunking. Come on, Ash. Ash. We have a travel call. Interesting. I was rooting for Ash there. Really wanted an Ash finish. Yeah. She's got to get on the board here. First female to score of the season. Oh, yeah. We'll see. It's she between Ash and Julie. Yeah, I think Julie will score today. I hope so. I hope she has 10 points. That'd be great. In the first half. Uh, a little miscommunication there on the Bandits. Interesting idea. We got That's ridiculous. Jason Channel. We got to do a better job at officiating there. They're looking for the sub. If they're standing at the sub table, at the scorer's table. Oh, bad pass. Nice effort there by Braylon. Yeah, some refs don't really pause much. No. Down to Little Mexico. Little Mexico over Straight to Mike Mitchell. Pass. Nice offensive Dish set there. Dish of the day there. there. Dish of the day downtown brought to you by Downtown Diner. Diner. Bottomless mimosas. Can't wait. $16, Monday through Thursday. $16 bottomless mimosa, 5 to 7 p.m. at the Downtown Diner in Celebration. A lot of other great deals going on right now as well. Make sure to go check them out on Facebook. Braylon for three. Bang! Big bang. The best thing about bottomless mimosas is you keep trying to find the bottom. There's no bottom. <laughs> Where is it? There's less of it. <laughs> Eric's bringing the ball down. Eric with the ball. Picks up his dribble. Has Ant. Ant guarded by JC. He should have pulled. JC channel. Another JC. Doesn't get the ball very true. Mike Mitchell over to Braylon. Braylon for three. He oh, is no. settling way too much today. There you go, Ant. Fast break, Ant. On Ant. There you go, Ant. Oh, no. Off the heezy of Jason Channel. And Vin with the finish. What I said, Ant's got to just calm himself, take his time. 
Brick of the day. Oh, brick of the day. <laughs> Ant wants brick of the day brought to you by Homegirls Real Estate. I'll Good hands, you though. There you go, Ant. <laughs> I think that ball was deflected, wasn't it? We had a brick of the day, and now a confusion on the backcourt call. Wow. I thought that was deflected by the uh, heartbreak kids. They're saying know. they're saying what happened is when Ann hit it, Braylon's hand went to pass two. So the ball, kind of like what happened to Pat Bev and LeBron a couple years ago, the ball traveled off of Braylon's fingers after the tip, and it went backcourt. Very true. 14 to 21. Are they overturning it? I believe they are. All right. Well, I guess the Pat Bev rule is out of effect. Shout out Pat Bev. Who's in that? Nobody. Bandits don't, uh, bandits don't care. Game? No? Okay. And Mike Mitchell into Braylon. Uh, the biggest thing I like about the Bandits is their attendance week in and week out. That's they great. consistently have nine. And Shane flies in from Oregon. Yeah, he's flying into play. He'll be here, I believe, two more times this season. Yes. Oh. Good take. A little. A little intensity, a little intensity on the court. The clock does stop, the clock can stop, and the clock stops. And upset, not getting the look there. Realistically, Ish made the good pass of getting Dean the ball down low, especially because Braylon was trailing right behind Ant. Ant's just letting his emotions of that missed shot frustrate him. And as a leader on his team, he's got to take a deep breath and just get back to his game. They're only down by six, can be down by five after this. If they miss the free throw, get the rebound, they're down by four. Anything is possible. Or three. Or three. Anything is possible. Play Next play, left. starters back in now. Yeah. Dean hits both. Dean hits both of them, that was good. Gotta love to see that. 151 on the clock, reset it. Mike Mitchell. I thought he was about Braylon, to I did too, I did too. Braylon guarded by Ant. Braylon, nice That's shot. shot. That's his game, That's beautiful. A beautiful shot. Exactly, take a couple dribbles. If he's missing threes and he can hit every two, he's better off just shooting the twos. Yeah. Eventually, it's going to add up. There you go, Ed. Great and pump fake. That's Bang. what he needs. That's what he needs. Take his time. That's a beautiful shot there. Down to four point game. He was warming up all day. There we go. Ingersoll with the shot. <laughs> Ingersoll loving Braylon his role. Braylon by Dev. Braylon drives wow. and gets it to fall. That was, that was a nice day. Looking like Michael Jordan out here. Braylon he Jordan. <laughs> and wide open. For Another three. One. Another hey, one. There you go, Ed. Another one. Three point game now. Now we got Josue on the court. And we got uh, Yusuf. Yusuf hitting the gritty on the sideline. 22 to 25. Three point game, one minute to go. Braylon for three. Off the rim. Nice rebound Good by Hustle two. by X. Yeah. 55 seconds on the clock. 22 to 25. Inbound to TP, TP over to Mike Mitchell. Mike Mitchell guarded nice by move. Ant. Mike Mitchell. That was a tough take. Bandits are doing it. Good so, effort. See, what, what I don't like about, yeah, that's, that's a good, good call. I don't like about Dean's game. He didn't even try to go for that ball there, right in front of his face. He's got to do more on the court. He's a very athletic guy, and I understand he can shoot. But if he actually played defense and, and was involved in rebounding and other things, he would be worth that third round pick, in yeah, my opinion. Absolutely. Great defense by Dev. And that's what Dev is bringing onto the court for them. Dev is bringing that defense, that hustle, that grit that the Heartbreak kids oh, were yeah. lacking in their starting yeah, five. Dev is a crucial player for their team. Just good energy on both sides. That's they a foul. Three. Yep, that's a foul. 22 to 25, it's a good call. And he has the opportunity to tie the game now, and we'll hit 50 points if he does so. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. The last 10 minutes of the first half have gone a lot better than the first 10 minutes. Yeah, you know, we'll just fast forward and post. Yeah, yeah. We'll speed it up to we'll four times speed. Make it look like regular speed. Ant makes the first one, two more to go. That's how I watch the games back. I watch the games back at four times speed when I'm looking for highlights. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I turned it up somehow. Help me out. What did I do? 23 to 25. I like mid pick. Short arms it. This is the second one. Seven points now. Axel in the building. Axel in the building. Said he would be here at 10. And there we go. Yeah, you know what? Here's the second. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, what's the difference? It's one it's number, 10 o'clock right? somewhere. Yeah. 30 seconds to go. Chief of the ball, no shot clock. One point game. 
<coughs> Mike Mitchell, guarded by feet. Ish. Fonzo, guarded by Ant. Good deed. We got a foul call. Foul on Ant. 19 seconds, 25-24. One and one. I don't think Luke understands the uh, possession arrow. That's what so I'm telling you, man. There's a lot I'm of arrow. I'm going to have to let him know at halftime how it, how it actually works. Because it's, it's got to go band its ball at the half. Arrow never lies. One and one here. 25-24. Alfonso. One and one. The Fonz. He gets the first one. I like it. The Fonz. Happy days. <laughs> Second one. Come on. Hit a shot. Up and good. There you go, Fonzo. That's a very rare sighting in this league. <laughs> two, two for, for two. two. Doesn't happen. Unless you're Steve the Kid at the end of a game. That's in true. which case, two for two is all over his face. <laughs> there you go, Vin. Vin got the ball. I got to say, bandits are doing a great job of combating Vin. They are. They score about Fonzo. Two. One at the half. Oh. And that is halftime. Bandits 27, Heartbreak Kids 24. Now is the time for some words from our sponsors. We'll see you for the second half. Downtown Diner is located in the heart of Celebration, Florida with a beautiful lakefront view. Their menu puts a modern touch on the classic diner feel. From pancake bacon dippers and French toast fries to chicken and waffles and Monte Cristos, they have something for everyone. They are now open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekends, offering an exclusive dinner menu with specials changing weekly. On top of that, they are currently offering a student happy hour from Monday to Thursday, 3 to 5 p.m. throughout February. Make sure to get on down to the Downtown Diner and follow their Facebook page to stay up updated. Mojo Depot is your one-stop shop for all of your customization needs. From wall decor, clothing, wine glasses, canvases, ornaments, mugs, and just about anything crafty, Juliana and Monique got you covered. They even made all of our jerseys last season. If you're looking for a great gift idea, a nice touch around the office, or some new home decor, look no further than Mojo Depot. Contact 321-443-0005 or visit their Instagram at Mojo Depot to learn more. How you doing, man? How you feeling? I'm loving the energy out there. Yes, sir. How you, how you guys feeling out there as the team? Uh, we good. I don't like the um, the run we just gave up, honestly. Okay. We should be up by more than three points. I got we on We on tighten up, though. That's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. We got to keep energy up. Anything you want to say to Sully? Oh, uh, no, nah, man. We just got to get this dub, though. Get this dub. That's yes, what I'm sir. saying. Hey, Ant. How you feeling? You hit. You saw some threes go in. How's that feel? It feels good. I've been. I finally got a little warm up time. Getting the first game is a huge advantage to go through some walkthrough stuff here. So I'm excited for the second half. I love you. Yeah, we're good. I love you too. Hey, I'm back. You knew it. <laughs> we are back for the second half of this week four matchup. Bandits lead 27-24 over the Heartbreak Kids. What do you need to see from each team that will lead them to victory? Um, I think that if the Heartbreak Kids, that's good defense. I think the Heartbreak Kids need to get Vin more involved in their offense. I don't think he's really done anything offensively. Doing a great job defensively. And the Bandits need to stop settling for the three ball. That's a good take. That was a good drive, good effort, doesn't go with the ball. Good pass, Devin, Dev. back to Ant. Good pass, Is oh, that. That's when he could have shot. Yeah, he could have shot that and down. There you go. Thing. There you go. Mike Mitchell guarding and and gets down low. Not my favorite shot there. And, and there gets you go, the Ant. rebound. Wow. Nine points. I think he's a leading scorer right now for the Heartbreak Kids. I believe so. I believe so. He's doing well. Doing what he has to do right now. 27-26. Good pass by Braylon. Over Mike Mitchell. Oh. Off the rim. There you go. And comes up with that Good board. Fonzo has a hand on it. Adjustment of the day by the Heartbreak Kids, playing defense. <laughs> Presented by Winter Park Chiropractor. And Ant hitting shots. Yeah, Ant making threes is our adjustment of the day. The rear brick of the day, adjustment of the day. Yep, good pass, nope. Didn't catch a cleanly bad shot. That's a horrible shot. Right, Dev gets the rebound. Dev goes up and gets the fall. There you go, Devin. There you go, they Devin. have the lead, they have the lead. The, the biggest thing here that uh, and I've brought this up in broadcast before, and I am I am somebody who does this as well. Um, they settle for the floater. They settle for the floater instead of just pulling up and taking the mid-range. They want the quick shot, and it's just not always the best shot. 28-27. 
Yeah, yeah Brandon gave it to you. You get a Justin of the day making shots and Brick of the day, the rare combo. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to get teammate of the day because he already yelled at Ish. So he's not getting all six. That was leadership. That was leadership. Leadership of the day. Yeah. Nice steal by Alfonso, I believe. Yep. Alfonso comes Alfonso. up. That's a fast man. And Finney gets fast. down the court very Ooh, quick. Nice JC pass. in the corner. JC, JC should have been on the pink team. Look at the hair. Nice finish. Sweet finish today brought to you by Ash's Big Shove. A little spin, a little whoop de whoop. Yeah. Yeah, a little loop de loop and pull. And his hair is looking cool. And. Guarded by Alfonso, Alfonso, defensive player JC, of the game. Yeah, and JC with coming. the steal. Wow. Saw that coming. Beautiful. Nobody said anything. Push, One more. Open, That's open, a terrible she's play. She's Why did he not pass that? That's that selfish. That is selfish. Yeah. Dance, pass. open for three. Take your time. Off the rim, Mike Mitchell. Not a balance hard break. Off Mike Mitchell. And I think got a little scared there by Braylon. Rushed it. He's got to take a deep breath. I agree, Vin for three. That's a great Let's shot. Get it to the fall. Chief with the rebound. Bandits are thinking to slow here. stuff down. They're kind of going too fast. Braylon there you go, drive. Braylon. Put the ball on the ground. That's He's so got such pretty. a soft touch. It's crazy. I wish I could do that. Floats in the air. 28-31. Ish. Drives. Good take. Doesn't get it to fall. Chief with the rebound. One more dribble. One more dribble. He could have had an easier take, Braylon and that's all day for Braylon. And he has it, and he gets it to fall. You might, you might want to time out soon here if you're the heartbreak kids. I agree. This is Braylon's time to shine. Vin, nice spin. Great move. And there you go, Dean. That's the hustle that I was looking he's for. Still, he's still hustling. Good like for it. him. Good for him. That's what I like to see out of Dean. No, Chief. you take a step back and you let X take that three. It worked out in your favor, but if you're defensively right there, I'm letting him shoot. X has not hit a three all year. You let him take the three. We have a timeout call. Heartbreak Kids, I believe, called the 33 timeout. 33 to 28, 16 15 on the clock. At this point, it's anybody's game. Yeah, yeah the Heartbreak Kids have played a little better defensively in this half. They're just not getting the shots to drop. If those threes fall, they'll take a huge lead. So, yeah, but if Braylon keeps driving, keeps attacking, keeps attacking, it'll, they'll win. The Bandits will win, and he drives. He never misses that shot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's shooting at 90% probably from the field on the season in four games when he actually gets to the hole. Yeah. We did see him miss a layup, but I think he was just jumping way too high. He was too fast. Yeah, 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 and that's that's the problem with being that athletic. Yeah. Yep. We had a discussion there with Sauce, four timeouts total in the game. Technical counts as a team and a personal. Yes. Defensive three second doesn't count as anything except the shot. Yes. 28 to 33. Uh, we have Parker Landis now checking into the Nick, box. did he step in when he inbound? Oh, nope. Turnover. That's clear cut. Good call, Nick. Good call. I appreciate you. What a, what a nice competitive game we have right now. Still five-point lead. Bandits and the Heartbreak Kids are going back and forth. Yeah, I don't know. They're not giving me a lot of funny content yet. Nobody's done anything real funny. We'll so <laughs> I'm sure we'll get something. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, Chester. Hey. What do you think? Chester. Okay. All right. He says heartbreak kids are going to come back. That's what he said. Chief of the ball. Yeah, you got to one. Yeah, to Braylon. Not what you want. Braylon number three. In and out. Nice box out by Ash and all the red team. Good rebound. See, Heartbreak Kids, great defense so far. The thing that I'm worried about now for the Heartbreak Kids is with no Vin on the court, there's no size in the paint. So Braylon could have a field day if he just pu puts yeah, the ball on the ground. Five, yeah. yeah. I don't, they don't have a five. Just don't have Last a five. play, Ant was in the middle of the paint. Yeah. It's not a matchup that you want. Now Hostway's coming in. It's a good, it's a good substitution. We do, we just... Subs need to stand by the bench. I don't understand why it's so difficult. 28-33. We'll have to have a discussion with the referees after this game. If there are people by the bench looking to sub in, you don't inbound the ball. Correct. On a dead ball. Correct. It's very simple. And if you did inbound the ball, you keep it going. Alfonso. Wow. That was Jason Channel with the steal. Occurrence there. 
a lot of sloppy plays today. Good pass. Dame down low. Great finish. Gonna wait, not to Wayne, just Wayne. That's a candidate for dish of the day. That is. From half court. Today brought to you by Downtown Diner. And Jose with a great finish. In the corner, there you go. Good defense. There you go, Eric. I actually like this lineup for the Heartbreak Kids now. Jason Channel bringing the ball down. You have variety of talents. You have four guys that can have some size, and Dean's got to get going. Dean for three. Off the rim. Eric becoming a leader on the court there, yelling, get back, get back. And they're Sweet. running a 3 2 zone here, it looks like. Over to Alfonso. Alfonso drives. Great cut Over by Noah. Swim. Nice. Good hands. Good job. JC drives. Good wow, take. Good JC effort there by Bandit. Having himself a game now. Seven points at least for JC. 30 to 35. He's played well. Yeah, two tough finishes and the three. Dev with the ball. Dev step back nice three. Move. Bang! And he hits it. Wow. Gets it to fall. Two point game. I gotta say, after the first seven or eight minutes, it's been a good game. It's been a great game, yeah. Chief with the ball. He does the same move every single time. Chief drives. It's rather predictable. He does. He does the same thing, drive and tries to find something. Yeah. Eric, see what he's got. Eric drives. Good take. That's a beautiful take. Good hustle. Nice rebound by Slim. Tries to push it to Braylon. Oh, he's got to turn around, Jay. That's a mismatch. Jason's just got to stand firm he's and try to get. To drive, he's got it. Yeah, he's yeah. got to stand in front of him and have the ball there. That's a foul. Yep, foul on Jason Channel. Thirty-five to thirty-three. Yeah, he uh, he's a big guy. He's just strong, man. He's he's like a horse. Yeah, he was one of the guys you didn't know how he would be in the league, and he's doing great. It hasn't been like last year where certain players have dominated and hurt their team. He's been hit the whole team. Yeah, he, he has no choice but to do what he's doing. And I don't think he's even intentionally being selfish or taking bad shots necessarily. Last year, although Dom was MVP, some argue that he wasn't the most valuable player because he did hurt his team by not giving them the opportunity. Raylan is doing a good job of moving the ball around, getting his teammates involved, but knowing when it's time for him to take over the game. Yeah. And he hits that one. Domination at times. Yes, 33-36. I mean, as you saw against us, 42 points. Absolutely. <laughs> That's crazy. Absolutely dominant. Over to Dev. Dev with the ball guarded by Braylon. Over to Jason Channel. Slim guarding Jason Channel. Slim, one of the best defenders nice. in the league. Nice job, Alfonso. Got to control the ball there. Gets it. Wade guarding Alfonso. Ziggy Over Zay, I love that. I love that. Oh, good shot, Zay. Nice rebound by I love Slim. Zay. Braylon trying to slow the pace down a little bit. Got a little, a little wild there. 33-36. Still that matchup. Easy. And yep. Gets the foul That's a foul call. on Dean. Oh, no, he called it on Josue. Okay. I think that's three on Josue. Possibly a four. I believe so. 33-36. 11.45 on the clock. Braylon got distracted. We need the Giannis rule here with the 10 second free throw, because that was at nine. <laughs> Giannis is just up there doing meditation, you know. I mean, at this point, Braylon is kind of like the Giannis in our league, except for Giannis has some uh, good scoring on his squad. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Maybe like a, a Luca before Kyrie got there. Yeah, we'll talk about that with Noah. Not too happy. <laughs> I guess Noah's Dorian Finney Smith. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Getting traded off his own team. <laughs> 33-38, five-point game. 11, 11 minutes to go. Got some subs here. Little Vin Mexico and Ish alert, back in the game. Alert. Oh, Little Mexico. He's got a cut there. He's got the mismatch. Ish drives. That's such a foul. Yeah, there we go. That is such a terrible foul Left by arm was holding. That's like the Nick Criticos defense. Arms straight out. I'm not fouling. If you're shuffling your feet and your arms are out, it's a foul. If you're running with him and riding him out of bounds, it's a foul. You could just tackle him. It'd be better. At a certain point, Vin with the bump on Braylon, trying yeah, to tire him physicality out. Physicality there. Pass. And down low. Take his time. Take your time. Good finish by Eric. I love that. Sweet finish today, brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. Eric dominating down low. Now, as I said yesterday on Instagram, every game this week is a two and one team versus a one and two team. So we're looking at a very real possibility where the whole league is tied up after today. And then we'll do power rankings out of a hat. We'll just pick it out of a hat like the lottery. Well, no, then I have a much harder job of trying to figure out the math behind everything, but I don't mind that for competition's sake. The power rankings are going viral. A 
local businesses, Downtown Diner, are seeing it and yeah. taking note. That yeah. was a very, very cool moment for the league. Brady yeah. for three. Off, Off the, the mark. Mexico, settling. Pokes it out settling. Alfonso. Yeah, the Bandits sponsored by the the Diner. Wow. Ish. And great play by great Ish. Great steal by Ish. Great pass. And it's got to finish. Yeah, nice Tie job. game. And you have a timeout. 9.34 on the clock. 38-38. to 38. Very interesting now. 38-38, and the key here is the Bandits need to keep their energy up. They look dejected, and the Heartbreak Kids look like they just got their heart fixed. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. We got a, Next season, we'll put a bandage over the heart. Yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> They'll be the lover boys. God damn. What a take. What a take. Tie game. It's reminded me of last week. Last week we had a bunch of real close games. Came down to last minute. Tied 38-38. Just under 10 minutes left. Big time. And how you feel about that run you guys just went on? We've been right there. We just need to get a little bit ahead here. We keep letting them. We're tying them up and then they're jumping out to like three five point lead. I got you. We have to come to the ball on defense and on the boards. That's what's keeping them in this game is that they're beating us to the ball. Extra shots, not letting us grab an offensive board. So we got to be a little bit more aggressive. But hey, Heartbreak kids got heart. They're broken, baby. They're broken. We're breaking hearts. We're breaking hearts. I heard purple team. Huh? Is that what you said, purple team? Yeah, purple team. Green team. Green, green team. Jolly Green Gators. <laughs> the gang Green Gators. It is official. Right, let's go, I gave him my extra jersey. He is officially... In there, 38-38. Braylon, attack the hole, man. You're the best player on the court. He's got to drive the lane. Saying that he's getting fouled. I feel like they've, they've been given a good amount of foul calls. I think the rest of them are doing a good job. Yep, yep. Slim mad about that. You might have the answer. What's up with the beard? When did he start doing it like that? Um... Recently, he's been doing it himself. Uh, Why? Yeah. He looks like Star Trek. Is that is that not a Star Trek thing? I, I'm not a, too familiar with Star I'm Trek. I'm not but, either, but it, okay. it could be. Could be. Okay. I don't know if Noah's a Star Trek fan. He looks like a sci-fi kind of guy. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he is. Yeah, he definitely is. He's definitely a horrorcore kind of guy. Yeah. And a horror kind of guy. <laughs> and another certain type of film that I can't say <laughs> on the broadcast, but... <laughs> Anime. <laughs> yeah. 41, this and there you go. Fall. Number 41, putting 39 points on the board there. There we go. <laughs> Ace with the ball. Looking for Ann again. Good pass. Over, to, over Eric. to Eric. Ant guarded by Braylon. Braylon wow. goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Off the mark. Nice Big rebound. Board. Chief, good energy by Chief. Rebound of the low. day. Rebound of the day brought to you by rebound. And <laughs> Mike Mitchell drives and gets it There you ball. go. 41 38. That was Braylon. A and Very Braylon, I, I think me saying something to Braylon, or maybe his bench, but something sparked extra energy for and Braylon. And for three, Mike Mitchell, good rebound, had it stolen though. He got it was just been good <laughs> shot by Vin. Vin for three, bang! And we have a top Vinny bang. Vici Vincito with the big time three. Does Braylon have the answer? Braylon Is he going to listen to my advice? Here. No, he passes. Over JC in the corner. Those JC. shoes look like they have no ankle support. <laughs> JC That's a good take, though. Doesn't get it to fall. Finn's got to have a dozen rebounds. It is 41 41, 745 to go. Don't push. And they get that the foul was not call, a foul. The foul call. That was all ball. That was a terrible take. Nick just had a rough angle on it, but that was all ball. Yeah, good job by Mike Mitchell. Was upset, but walked away. I don't know who the foul was on. If they're calling that on X, X had his hand all over the ball. I don't know if Mike Mitchell potentially hit him from the back. No homo. But 41-41. 41-41. Dean has the ball. Dean over to Ish. Ish guarded by Chief. And and it's like, Ish is doing a great screen, job yeah. today getting everybody involved. Primarily Ant, but oh, yeah, that's, trying to get his teammates involved. Bad pass. Uh, right when I say it. Braylon Dunk, drives. please. Oh. There wasn't a foul there. That was two points, though. So I think you're onto something. Game of the ball, triple team, poked out. Do we have a ref with Caesar. And it's Bandit basketball. All right, they caught on the Bandits. I couldn't see it clearly. I thought it was going the other way, but. I think they were saying the whole push off the other hand thing. Yeah, whatever. For three. Eric off comes up with the board. Two point game. Yeah, good, uh, good 6.30 to go. Vin for three. Another hey. one! Another one! 
Let's go, Vinny. And take the lead. And what did I say 43. the halftime adjustment needed to be? Get the ball to Vin. Adjustment of the day presented by Winter Park Chiropractor. You're getting Vinny involved on offense. Oh, great pass. And great defense by Eric. Push the pace now. You got Eric trailing on the left. Great pass. Get Eric up there, Eric. Drives. Good take. That's a goal 10. You cannot hit the backboard. How is that not established as a rule? That is so frustrating. That's two weeks in a row now. That is a goal 10. I have to let the officials know. What? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. Braylon, Braylon makes the free throw. I love it. One. This is one of my favorite guys in the league. He's awesome. Over to Dean. Dean guarded by Noah. Noah. Great hands by Slim. Can he finish? Don't yeah. foul. Yeah, exactly. That's the best play on the heartbreak, or the heartbreak kids right there. Yeah. Noah, not the best finisher. Braylon That's a foul. playing defense. That's a Eric, bad shot. That's, that's, that's still in. Ball. That's still in. That's still in. Hit the top. That's still in. Yep, it's got to go over. It's got to go over. Oh, and oh, Josue! Uh-oh! That is Dwayne Wade, Josue Wade. It hits the top of the backboard, that's a dead it's, ball. It's not a dead ball. In the NBA, it is. No, it's not. It's got to go over the backboard. If it hits the top and it comes this way, if it hits the, the railing stuff, it is out of bounds. But if it hits the top of the backboard, it is not a dead ball. 441 to go, one point game. Bang! Wow. This game got exciting. Game. This game got exciting. We got our two cheerleaders. Cheerleader of the week. <laughs> Ozue and Yusuf. I think the most Mike interesting Mitchell thing <laughs> next uh, next game is what team is Yusuf going to play for? I already was thinking that. He can't coach and play. <laughs> Terrible shot. Chief with the ball. We got the chant going on over there too. <laughs> it's like a soccer match. Braylon Pretty much. Uh oh. Oh, I thought he was going to pull that. To take that. I haven't seen that. Really good ball movement. Slim, Slim anus. Oh, damn right, ball. Slim anus. 47, Four 49. minutes to go. Two point game. Getting double team. All the time out. Yeah, that's a, a good call. call. It's a good call. Dean's on the ground, stretching out his hammies. Hammies and clammies. Hammies and tammies. Dean Lions. I gotta say, unsung hero today. Josue has been playing very well. Yeah. Giving good minutes for the Hawks. He was upset kids. the first week or two about playing time, and then gets he's shown that he has he has game. He can play. The thing is, during the tryouts and during the scrimmages, well. Scrimmages, he did show up late, but during the tryouts, particularly, his ball movement, his ability to pass the ball as a big man was uncanny. There was nobody out there moving the ball like him. He had multiple dishes of the day, um, and, and that's what they really need. They need that ball. Now he's over there talking to Dean, calming him down. I love to see that. I love to see that. Defense! Hey, Vinny. I saw you getting yours out there. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. I love watching you play. Appreciate Keep getting it. Right. Love you. I fucking love that guy. How can you not love Vinny? Ladies and gentlemen, Kyson. <laughs> He's so fucking high. He doesn't know where the fuck he is. Well, two weeks ago, he didn't remember the name of his team. <laughs> and, and we're back. 47-49. I gotta say, a lot of people in the gym for the first game yeah, every time. Packed. This is the prime time matchup. How you guys doing? What up, Andre? How are you doing? Subbed in for Steve the Kid on the camera. Yeah, sure. Inbounding the ball. 3.58. No, Ish, take the ball up. It's not a good idea. Braylon's guarding Ant. It, it's not a matchup that looks good. Mike Mitchell's plays really good defense. He is. And They've done a good job in the paint against Vinny. Not on the boards, but Vinny has not been scoring in the paint. Yeah, no, it's and, and that's credit to Mike Mitchell and Braylon. This game's going down to the wire here. 47-49. It always does. Here's shooting two. What does it always? Sometimes <laughs> we see a 25-point game. A little running clock, you know what I mean? Ish makes the first one. That's your favorite thing is the running clock rule. I love it. <laughs> I think it should be 10 points. I think it should be one point. <laughs> Close game, running clock. The clock, people would have a heart attack over that. Clock never stops. That would be amazing. <laughs> and game. <laughs> and he may misses the second one. Wow, it's great vertical by Mike Yeah, Mike. great job. Mike Mitchell trying to push the pace. I don't know if you need to do that. Nope. He does. Great defense. That's Ish. Ish with the ball, Slow trying to push it, it back. Yep. Okay. All right. Eric with the ball. Chief, nice defense there. How many times do I got to say slow it down and again? Nice rebound that. by Braylon hey, there. You're not going to get bailed out by the refs. He's looking over at Nick. It's not going to, this is not your answer. Over to JC. JC for three. 
off the rim. Wow. Like, rebound. That, that wow. Been cool. He jumped high. That was great. 2.27 to go. Ish with the ball up top, guarded by Chief. Three point game. Heartbreak kids. And guarded by Zay. Ziggy. Ish now guarded by Zay. Ish gets hey. the foul call. No shot. What Vin needs to do, the post up is not working for multiple reasons. A, he's not able to back down Mike Mitchell easily, but B, on their entry pass, bandits have active hands. They keep tipping the ball. So what Vin has to do, in my opinion, is to come out and, and set those. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're playing on the same court every time. Um, Vin needs to come out and set those high screens for their shooters, because then that's gonna force the defense to choose do I double team Ann on the shot, which is going to cause some confusion, and then if Vin dips to the hole, he can have a wide open layup. Yeah. In my opinion, what am I? I'm a league owner. The owner. Doesn't mean much. Two point game, two minutes to go. Just yeah, like no, that. There's, there's some offensive sets they could run to. Vin just needs to game. pull out of the paint. If he pulls out of the paint, he'll open up the drive for Ish as well. No shot clock. Yeah. JC with the ball. The thing is, there is no shot clock, but somebody's gonna, oh, okay. Man. I was gonna say, someone's gonna take a bad shot, a but. Too, too that, much pressure there, Eric with the drive. Good take. And a tie game. Tie and we get 100 points. 102. We have 100 points, yeah. 90 seconds to go. And now's Braylon's time. Yep. It's gotta be Braylon's time. He does not need a screen. He should tell everybody to get out of the way. Yeah, the ball on the floor. Give the ball back to Braylon. People. Yeah, you gotta get the ball back to Braylon. JC, what over pass. to Chief. Chief has that shot, he still hasn't hit Great it. Great defense by Eric. Great defense by Eric. Eric. Wow. He gets it to wow. Two point game, just like that. And we got a... Wow. Turnover by the Bandits. The classic inbound play. How stupid of a mistake. Trivial, that is pick up basketball. That is horrible. That is heartbreaking for the Bandits. Wow. Wow, that is so frustrating. Yeah, they were trying to push the pace, trying to throw it all the way down court, and he stepped over the line. Yeah, it's the simplest of rules. Simplest of rules. It's actually a pretty easy call for Nick to make there. There's nothing questioning yeah. about it. Yep. Vinny in the corner now. Take your time. Take your Vinny time. With the ball. Don't down force. What are we doing? Why? He doesn't get Why? The ball. What are we doing? There's no basketball IQ anymore. Braylon with the ball. Over to JC. Over to JC. Let, him Let him shoot. Let him shoot. Good hands. Alfonso's gonna shoot. Three. I knew it. I just saw in his eyes. Clock stops. 44 on the clock. 53 to 51. Very big shot there. It was just an unnecessary shot. If you want me to be honest with you. 41 on the clock. the ball. Heartbreak kids may try to hold it for 40 seconds. We will Dean see. letting them know we do not need to shoot. Good hands by Fonzo. He didn't go back for it. Uh, could have been a foul. Got yeah, Ant with the ball. Over to Eric. Eric no. for three. No. Off no. The rim. Why? Why? This is the fall. Why? Tie game. 14 Why? seconds to go. Oh, that was. A yeah, timeout. Oh, wow. 53-53, that is so frustrating if you're the Heartbreak Kids. Dean screaming on the sideline, we don't have to shoot. Eric gets impatient, wants the stat. It's just Alfonso super I think was just punched in the face there too. Can't wait to see the footage on that. You know what? That's hustle. It wasn't, an, ac it wasn't an accident, but uh, It happens to the best of us. Happened. Tie game, tie game. Some questionable decisions, some questionable shots going out right now. Um, heartbreak Kids, ball's in their court right now. They gotta make a play. Make a shot, win the game, or we're going to overtime. I mean, it's just like last game. Shit's going crazy over here. I don't even know what to say. They're talking over there. They're talking over here. We got, all right. I, I don't even know what to say. It's Should just basketball. No, no, he's emotional, I'm afraid. He scares me when he, no, I'm afraid when he gets like this. He knows that. What do you think about that decision to shoot that ball? I don't want to talk about it. No, he doesn't want to talk about it. Aneurysm. All right, we're yeah, good. Yusuf, Yusuf's now coaching uh, the Heartbreak Kids. Is he? He's, uh, yeah, he's coaching-ish. Coach of the year. 
Yeah. You gotta love it. Hey, Yusuf. Did uh, did you give AJ his shorts? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Uh, I almost sold them. You have them? Yeah, Where? I, gave them to him. I went to his corner. I gave them to him. Let him know to AJ. put them on. AJ. What a psycho. You gotta love Yusuf. <laughs> Appreciate you, Yusuf. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. We are day. back. Vinny has the ball. Vinny with the ball. It's not that cool. It's not that cool. He has to establish his podium. We got a timeout. We have a timeout. I've got no clue the call. There's a backward violation. Timeout. <laughs> timeout. I couldn't see. You were standing in the way. Yeah, but it's okay. It's Yusuf's okay. breaking down the film yeah, for us. I have nothing no we can do. Yeah, it's not my call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not my call. I just want to know if there's a replay. I, I yeah, yeah. personally didn't think it was a backcourt. I, I, I got traded to the Wolfpack. No, the Reapers. Oh, you play the Reapers? Yeah, you, you're their coach. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I already got the whole game plan on them. That was the, that was the scouting report for the beginning of the season. Yeah, he's been coaching them, knowing years. that we're going to be playing them. <laughs> he's their teammate. Sauce, how do you feel about adding Yusuf to your team on your bench as a captain? You're going to be without your coach. That's okay. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. I love you. <laughs> you gotta love sauce. You thought that was real. You gotta love sauce. Yeah. Like, wait, what? Yusuf's on my team. I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. He's got no offense on his team yeah. outside of Corey and Josue. Oh man, I'm ready to play. And we are back 10 seconds to go, and if this isn't a Braylon drive and shot, then I don't know what to think. This is uh, hopefully not an overtime kind of game. Yeah. Vinny, lock the fuck up, he says. Braylon inbounding the ball. Just don't have one foot backcourt. That would be bad. Braylon Why? What a bad shot. Off the end, they get the rebound. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Nope. Oh! Downtown Diner 56. Heartbreak kids have their heart absolutely broken. Presented by Mojo Depot. Mike Mitchell, sweet finish of the day. Wow. Presented by Ashes Bake Shop. What wow. a shot. Wow. Wow. That was awesome. Go to Doris. Come here, Mike. Yes, sir. Offensive, yes, sir. offensive board. Yeah. Turn around, you got three seconds left on the clock. I looked at the clock. Yeah? Yeah. So I knew. Like, hey, backboard. It's got back. Backboard is always back. a friend. Bank, bank, bank is always open. On Sunday. Always open, except for Sunday. Sunday. Well, it's Sunday, but hey. It's okay. <laughs> hey, it's a little early, but they open right now. They open right now. Huge fucking that shot. That like a fucking air ball. No. Nah. shot. Uh, <laughs> back boy. Back boy. Did you call bank? I looked at the back. I looked at the clock and called bank. Okay. I did. He did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mike, hey. huge shot. Huge win. Very tight game. How you feeling? I feel great. Hey, you, I, I feel great. Well, and I was it. injured. There you go. Yeah. But, uh, hey, but we always play hard. Anything is possible. Hey, Ben is always, baby. Ben's Huge ben fucking league. God damn. God damn. Wow. It doesn't get closer than that. Last second. Bank three-point shot from over there. God damn. 